Brexit has had a major impact on UK fruit exports to the EU. Since the UK left the single market and the customs union, UK fruit producers have faced new barriers and costs to trade with their European customers. These include customs declarations, health certificates, border checks and delays. As a result, many UK fruit farmers have seen their sales drop dramatically or have stopped exporting altogether. According to data from HMRC, UK fruit exports to the EU have dropped by more than half since Brexit. In the year to March 2021, the UK sold £248.5 million worth of fruit to the EU. But sales figures slumped the following year, when they dropped to £119 million and have remained at that level since with latest tax data showing sales for the year to March 2023 of £113.8 million. The decline in fruit exports has been driven by a fall in exports of perishable goods, such as strawberries, raspberries, apples and pears. These products are highly sensitive to delays and spoilage and require strict phytosanitary standards to enter the EU market. The increase in red tape and costs means it can be very difficult to make a profit exporting fresh produce. For example, one UK strawberry grower said he had given up exporting to the EU after Brexit because of the extra paperwork and fees. He said he used to sell about 10% of his crop to the EU, but now he only sells to the UK market or freezes his surplus for later use. Another UK apple and pear farmer said he had lost about 20% of his income due to Brexit. He said he had to pay £200 for each health certificate to export his fruit to the EU, which made his products less competitive. He also said he had experienced delays of up to five days at the border, which affected the quality and shelf life of his fruit. UK fruit producers are not only losing money, but also market share to other countries. With the long delays and extra cost of UK fruit, retailers in continental Europe are now less likely to buy from the UK and are choosing to import fruit from other countries within the bloc or from third countries that have preferential trade agreements with the EU. For instance, Spain has increased its exports of strawberries, raspberries and blueberries to the EU by 12% since Brexit, while Morocco has increased its exports of citrus fruits by 15%. These countries benefit from lower tariffs, fewer barriers and shorter transit times than the UK. UK fruit producers are struggling to adapt to the new reality of Brexit and are looking for alternative markets or ways to diversify their business. Some are trying to sell more online or directly to consumers, while others are investing in processing or storage facilities. However, these options are not always viable or profitable for small-scale farmers who rely on exports for their livelihood. Brexit has bounced UK fruit exports out of the EU and has left many UK food producers in a difficult situation. The UK government has promised to support them with grants, loans and advice, but so far these measures have not been enough to offset the losses or restore confidence in the sector. The future of UK fruit farming depends on whether the UK and the EU can find ways to reduce friction and facilitate trade, or whether they will continue to drift apart and create more barriers. Brexit has had a significant impact on the UK's trade balance and relationship with the EU and the rest of the world, as well as the implications for consumers and businesses. In this section, we will explore some of the main effects of Brexit on the UK's fruit exports to the EU which have dropped by more than half since according to data released by HMRC, exports of fruit from the UK to the EU, including traditional English apples and pears, have fallen from £248.5 million in the year to March 2021 to £113.8 million in the 12 months to March this decline has been attributed to the introduction of trade barriers caused by the UK's departure from the EU, such as mandatory health certificates on fresh and chilled food and customs paperwork. These barriers have increased the costs and risks for UK fruit farmers who are selling their produce abroad. They have also made UK fruit less competitive and attractive for EU retailers, who have switched to importing fruit from other countries within the bloc. For example, 
Spain has increased its market share of fruit exports to the EU by 12% since the UK government has delayed imposing similar checks on imports from the EU four times, giving European suppliers an unfair advantage over domestic producers. This has raised concerns about the future availability and quality of some of British consumers' favorite foods, such as fresh cheese, olive oil and dried meats from Spain and Italy. Brexit has also affected the UK's trade balance and relationship with non-EU countries. The UK has signed new trade deals with some countries, such as Australia and New Zealand, which could increase the supply and lower the prices of some fruits in the UK market. However, these deals could also pose a threat to UK fruit farmers who may struggle to compete with cheaper imports. On the other hand, some non-EU countries have imposed new tariffs or quotas on UK fruit exports, such as India and South Africa. These countries have also increased their trade ties with the EU, making it harder for UK fruit exporters to access their markets. The implications of Brexit for consumers and businesses are complex and uncertain. On one hand, consumers may benefit from more choice and lower prices of some fruits from non-EU countries. On the other hand, they may face higher prices and lower quality of some fruits from the EU due to trade barriers and delays. Businesses may face new opportunities and challenges in adapting to new markets and regulations. They may also need to invest more in innovation and sustainability to remain competitive and resilient in a post-Brexit world.